Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's Tony from Safe Haven. Before we jump in, go ahead, click that like button, that subscribe button, click the bell for notifications. Make sure you select all for the types of notifications you get because uh, I got some good stuff coming up for you all this month. I wanted to talk real briefly, real quickly, um, about masks, okay? Uh, you hear this term a lot. It's, you know, especially when you are learning about narcs, you're learning about narcissistic people, and you learn about something called uh, masks that they put on, right? And there's a lot of masks that they put on. Basically, the purpose of that is to hide who they are to get what they want or to get the reaction they want from the people that they are immediately interacting with, okay? So you need to be on the lookout for these types. And I'm sure if more come to my head or if more, if ones come to your mind, put them in the comments, right? Talk about it. The first mask that narcissists love to put on is that of the, the helper, right? They're always volunteering. They're always out, you know, yeah, be, you know, I'll be a shoulder to cry on. I'll be the one to, you know, walk an old lady across the street. And the reason why they do that is for none other than supply. And you'll know that they're doing, they're helping people by the way that they consistently talk about it, okay? They will, and, 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 and I remember when I was growing up in the church, it was a verse of scripture that comes to my mind, and it was like Jesus was telling his disciples that when you give, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, right? And he was like, the, the religious people today, the Pharisees and Sadducees, were out here loudly talking about and proclaiming when they were giving, you know, alms and, and offerings, right? And you can tell when someone is, is giving for a reaction. Case in point, all these little YouTube influencers, they pop out the whip. Got the cameras rolling. They run up on the homeless person. Hey, I see that you didn't have shoes. I bought you a pair of shoes. Hey, I saw that you were hungry. I got you a plate of food. Yo, you don't do that. You know? And they get, they're doing it for that praise for people to be like, oh my God, you're such a great person. Right? And that's, that, that's a key indicator that they don't have absolutely pure intentions when they're giving or when they're helping. It's all for supply. They want the person that they're helping to thank them and be like, oh my God, I'm so grateful for you. And then they want the people who are watching them and they make sure people are watching them to be like, oh my God, you're such a great person. Because deep down, they know they're a pile of, 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 of dog, dog dropping, right? And they know that deep down, they ain't what's up. They know that their that their intentions are not are not pure, right? And they're just looking for that quick validation. Sometimes it, it's not even about they know that they're not all all wrapped too tight. They just want that dopamine fix, that high, that rush, that oh, I'm so awesome, right? So they'll do that. They will. They'll be the types to constantly, you know, be hopping on the gram. Or hopping in a live, talking about, oh, you know, this is what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. You know, I'm going here. I'm going there. I, You know, my heart is so burdened for these people. You're going to see a lot of this in the church. The church is a breeding ground for these kinds of narcissists, right? Well, the Lord has called me to go to Malaysia and feed some orphans. And I'm going to keep talking about this to everyone who listens. It's like, dude, all right, cool. Lord called you, whatever voice in your head, I right, bless up, right? So that's one mask. The second mask that narcissists can put on is, and this is usually with covert narcs, um, 
but this mask is is a sneaky one, right? They're all, they they they're the opposite of the folks who are always looking for attention to, for doing good. These folks are like, oh, I hate social media. I hate uh, taking pictures, this and that. They self-deprecate themselves, all this. Now, a lot of times, this does not mean that everyone who does this is a narc, okay? There are a lot of people with bad self-image issues, bad self-esteem, they were abused, they were, you know, uh, you know, they were invalidated at a very young age consistently. So they're always gonna be like, you know, I, I don't want attention, right? But there are those that they are purposely looking for, um, they're looking for that validation. So they're hoping that you're gonna be like, oh, it's okay, it's all right, come take this picture. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. You know what I mean? They're hoping for that validation. They they get they get fuel fueled off of that, um, and a lot of times these kinds of individuals are real quick to under the guise of being you know hidden. That's when they're super abusive, right? Because you'll be like, well, how could they be a narc? A narc is a person who always wants attention. These people don't want attention. No, but they're narcissistic in other ways. They're manipulating you. They're guilting you. They're saying things that. They're, they're saying half truths about issues and facts, right? To get a reaction, like, let's be serious here. So, wow, the sun is beaming. I love it. I love this time of year when the sun is kind of low in the afternoon. Um, you know, pumpkin spice latte time and woo, quilts and oh my God, I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm a fall baby. And I love the fall, okay? Anyway, back to what I was saying. Sorry for the interruption and the distraction. But these kinds of people who are always look, who look like they're trying to hide away from the spotlight, yada, yada, don't, don't, don't trust them. Especially when your inner voice is saying, yo, these people are being manipulative. They're gaslighting you. They're disrespecting you. You know, um, classic example was, I remember, I remember my dad, who was like a, you know, classic narc. Why is this lady just standing here sta staring at me? Jesus Christ, woman. Um, we're in the middle of a parking lot and she literally just stands and stares at me. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the uh, forces that be were like, oh, wait, he's talking about us. <laughs> um... So, I remember my dad, he was always talking about, like, oh, they called me ugly in high school and this and that, right? And he never had a very, he never had a very, you know, imposing presence. He was very, at the risk of, you know, sounding bad, he was very beta, very, you know, uh, you know. But he was out here playing my mom all the damn time. And she would catch him in the act, but other people were like, no, no, no way, not him. He couldn't be, right? Those are the people you got to watch out for. They snakes, they wolves in sheep's clothing, okay? So I'm stopping off at a store. I got to do a quick errand. As soon as I come back, we're going to hop right back into it. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back. Like I said, we would be. <clears throat> so we were talking about um, folks who uh, put on a mask about always being a helper, being a savior to others, They're always, you know, giving out grandiose stories of how they're saving the day or being publicly uh, or making the public aware of what they're doing for others. And we also talked about the folks who acted like, you know, <clears throat> they um, they try to stay away from, from people and, you know, stay out of social media and this and that. But meanwhile, they're gaslighting and abusive and acting like straight uh, dog turds towards those who they claim to love. 
right? So, the next one I want to talk about are those narcissists who, and you see them a lot in work, they claim to be know-it-alls. That's a mask. Every little thing, they got to throw their two cents in. Um, they always, when they're, when they're around people, they always showing off, right? They always talking about what they've done, what they, what they experienced, what they did, this and that. And it's never to like, <coughs> excuse me. It's never to like, you know, extract a lesson or actually edify or build up the people around them. It's to talk about like, Hey, look at me. I'm, I'm the greatest, right? And forgot that's what happens. Five o'clock on a Friday. Everybody trying to get the heck home. So anyway, these people, you'll find them at work. Uh, they, they, they'll constantly be running their mouth in meetings. They're constantly acting like they the boss, even though they have no real title or their assistant to somebody who has a title. So they'll be out here acting like, you know, they're, uh, they, 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 they got something to prove, right? Um, so you, you, you've, you've gotta be, you gotta be super careful with that because these kinds of individuals will not bat an eye when it comes to selling you and your loved ones down the river to protect their own image. These are the people who come into a job and in the beginning, they're performing, 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 and then towards the middle, towards the end, they perform in less and demand them more. They sow in discord. They triangulate in one coworker versus another. They whisper and they backbite and they out here talking that schmack. Um, they, their actions will expose them after a while. Here's the thing about narcs. They always expose themselves, right? They always do. That's why you're here on this channel. This is why you're you learning about stuff. Their actions towards you have exposed them, right? They think that they could go through life hiding themselves behind a mask, but after a while, their actions show them up, right? It's like in my other video I put before, uh, a couple of months ago. I said bitter and sweet waters can't come from the same fountain, can't come from the same faucet. Oh, I love how the sun is beaming behind me. See, that's the universe telling y'all this is truth that I'm, that I'm speaking. I'm shining the light, I'm shining the light. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah you 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 will you'll see them you'll see them and and that whole know it all and I, I did this I did that I, I went here and I was the best you start hearing that a number a number of times you're like Jesus give it a freaking break okay we know your little Bradley is you know doing great in soccer oh great yeah we know that Every time you go to a welding class, you're the top of the class. Like, we get it, right? And it's not just a normal, like, you know, there's normal bragging. There's normal, I'm, you know, I'm com I'm confident because I'm competent, right? There's a difference. Your spirit will pick up on it. When you start to get irritated and annoyed, that's your spirit telling you, oh, these people, they're not firing on all cylinders, Right? So that, that's a mask. Um, the other mask is, this is the fourth one. They're always in distress, okay? Oh, pity me, pity me. I'm in a housing crisis. I'm in an employment crisis. I'm in a food crisis. Pity me, pity me, pity me, okay? And then when you do a little bit digging, you realize they burn in every doggone bridge they got because of their actions. They're abusive. They're lying. They're manipulative. They're disrespectful. They don't play by any kind of rules. Man-made, God-made, or otherwise. Except the rule of self. Okay? 
And then you're like, why are you guilting me into helping you? I know there's one, there's one, uh, Nart. She's always in a financial rut. She'll curse out her daughter's father at a drop of a dime. She'll curse out anybody. I've been cursed out by her, right? Family members, or, you know, everybody. But the moment she squanders her money, the moment she hits hard times, oh, can you help me? Please, please, right? Wondering if we could talk. Wondering if, uh, you know, is there anything we could do to repair this? Okay? It's all a mask. If she would just take responsibility for her life and her actions, she'd be fine. She's not smart. I mean, she's not dumb. Right? And she's got lots of resources to help her. But instead of taking those resources and actually using them, and taking her mind and using it productively, it's easier for her, not for everybody else. For everybody else, it's annoying as heck. For her, it's like, all right, I'm going to either antagonize people into helping me. I'll curse you out. I'll stalk you. I'll blow up your phone. I'll smear campaign you. I'll threaten you. All that. Or I'll do the opposite and be like, hey, how are you? I was just thinking about you missed you right depending on what she thinks will work and it the 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 the, the reality is that's all just a mask right so these kinds of individuals will use their misfortune in order to manipulate you into giving them a pass for abuse what does that mean well you know i was abused when i was a child and that's one two well this is what i saw when i was growing up or three i'm under a lot of stress or four oh don't you don't you see how hard it is just to live in these days like excuse after excuse after excuse so you take pity on them. You're like, oh man, I know you have it hard, this and that. And you know. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. They 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 they're that's just a cover for the abuse. The way to counteract that is to recognize that they have the opportunity, just like everybody else, to fix their life. They have the opportunity, just like everybody else, to get therapy. They have the opportunity, just like everybody else, to seek ways to increase their financial um, status or their 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 financial well-being, or to ensure their financial well-being. Okay, they 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 choose they choose to use their misfortunes, their consequences of bad choices. Usually, it's consequences of bad choices that they made to get other people to do for them, to give reactions, give supply, give resources and reactions. That's what they use it for. So with that being said, I hope this video helps you. I hope y'all learned something. If there are more masks that you, that you wanna talk about, uh, feel free. Oh, actually, you know what? You know what? There's a fifth mask. And this comes in, in the romantic partnership. Um, they come off as the perfect partner. That's a fifth mask. I want to know everything about you. Your interests. You like this? I love it. You like Grateful Dead? I love Grateful Dead. Oh my God. Fortunate Son by Creedence Clearwater Revival is your favorite anthem? Yes, mine too. I'm here to support you in anything you want. But the moment you start pushing ahead and looking to be everything you want, nah, I don't think that's good for you. Nah, don't do it. Nah, it's not going to work out. Right? They say all that to get resources and reactions from you. Especially in the beginning of a relationship. Love bombing. 
right? Make you feel that, wow, she's my soulmate. He's my soulmate. Oh my God, I can't, I can't deal with life without them, right? They wind you up, wind you up, wind you up. Boom. And then by the time they start realizing or they start seeing that, oh, you know, maybe... Maybe you're not as perfect as I thought you'd be. Or maybe you're not letting me get away with everything I wanted to get away with. Uh, you know, they start to devalue and then ultimately the discard. The value, they start, they start caring less and less about how you feel, what you need, what you want. And they start using more and more and more, becoming more blatant, becoming less caring. Next thing you know, they discard you. Oh, I'm done. I'm off with Cheryl from accounting. I'm, I'm off. I'm off with Kyle from down the block. Yep, there goes that sun, sunlight behind me, telling you all the truth. That's the universe. The light is being shown. But yeah, that's all the mask. They don't love you. They don't love themselves. They don't love nobody. They love the feeling you give them in the moment. They love how you make them feel wanted, adored, appreciated, uh, cared for. All that. They love it. But the moment they either find better or they uh, they just get tired or they realize that you're not going to let them slide with every single screw up, then it's like, eh, I'm good. This isn't meant to be. We're not meant to be. This isn't working out. Right? So anyway, I hope this helps y'all. In life, you're either going through it or you're growing through it. And I know that for somebody out there, it's gonna this is this video is gonna help them. Um, especially when we grapple with the question of, you know, was my ex a narc or is my parent a narc or family member, yada yada yada. Just look at their actions. Look at who they are. And again, narcs always expose themselves. They always drop the mask. Eventually, eventually, by their own doing, by their own actions. Sometimes you just got to wait it out. Just be like, all right. They'll talk a good game. They'll hype it up. And then, boom, the mask comes down and you see them for who they are. And I need y'all to understand, when you see them in their filth, that's who they really are. Don't ever let it get twisted or doubt yourself. Well, this person left me at my lowest. This person left me when I put up boundaries. This person told me to go hop a bridge and they crushed me. They took my trust, faith, loyalty, love and stepped all on it. Yeah, that's who they are, okay? That's who they are. Even if they come back afterwards, oh, I'm oh, sorry. Can we work this out? Just be like, nah. Peace, deuces. Because <clears throat> who they are is always going to be that way. And it's not going to be just with you. It's going to be with everybody. See, when we get discarded by NARC or we have to discard them, <clears throat> it's easy to feel. Like, we the only one, right? It's easy to feel like, well, maybe I was the first, right? Maybe I'm the only one who feels this heartbroken. Nah, you're not. There have been other victims. There's always, there's always a trail of victims that were created before you, after you, and during you. Okay? Straight up. Straight up. <laughs> There's a trail of victims. And once you get that through your mind, you're going to be like, all right. All right. I, I, I see what time it is. All right? So listen, in life, you're either going through it or growing through it. I hope this helps y'all. It's Friday. Woo! Get the weekend started. I don't know what y'all got planned. Listen. For my peoples who are dealing with narcs on the weekend because you got kids, you got to do transfer, you know, visitation, custody, whatever, or you got to see somebody on the weekend or you're about to go on a date with someone that you suspect is a narc 
or whatever, you trapped at home with them for, yo, peace and blessings, yo, for real, like, stay up, stay ready, stay alert, stay aware, stay grounded in the truth, don't take nothing that they say personally, don't take nothing that they do personally, understand, this is who they are, all right, you're the warrior, you're the emperor, you're the empress, you're the you you the person who's gonna come out of this on the other side better. They not. They're just gonna go on to the next victim. The only way they're gonna get better is they're gonna get better in lying and deceiving. See the bull crap that they got away with with you, or did uh, no, I should say it this way. The bull crap that they did not get away with you, they just learn and be like, you know what, for the next person, I gotta do X, Y, and Z. That's all. That's how they're getting better. They're getting better at their craft of of deceit, lying. And, and and ego inflating. That's what they're all about. All right? Y'all have a good weekend. Be blessed.